Welcome to AP Environmental Science. In this video, we are going to briefly discuss bioaccumulation and biomagnification. Now, students often get these two terms mixed up. Remember, bioaccumulation is increasing the concentration of a pollutant in one single organism. Biomagnification is looking at the increased concentration of that pollutant as you move up the food chain. So what this means is as an organism is eaten, all of those pollutants that were trapped inside of that organism have now moved up to the next trophic level as that organism has done the eating. Here's another way to look at it. With bioaccumulation, we have three fish and over time, each individual accumulates more and more of the pollutant in its body. Whereas biomagnification is as you move up the food chain, that concentration is going to increase in each trophic level. The toxins that are going to biomagnify or bioaccumulate are often going to be your persistent organic pollutants or the POPs. Some of those examples that we discussed already include PCBs and DDT. But heavy metals are also going to bioaccumulate and biomagnify. This is because these types of pollutants are fat soluble. So that means that the organism is not able to get rid of this out of its body using its excretory system. Some of the effects that this has include eggshell thinning and developmental deformities in top carnivores. An example here, let's look at DDT. DDT inhibits the processing of calcium in the bodies of these apex predators, such as eagles and peregrine falcons. Eggshells are made of calcium, and DDT, because it's inhibiting that calcium processes, that causes these eggshells to be very thin and very fragile. Because they're so thin, either when the egg is laid, as it hits the nest, it could shatter then, or as the mother bird sits on the nest, that could crush the eggs. If for some reason this egg survives and hatches, oftentimes those chicks that are born there are going to have some kind of deformity because again, calcium is critical to that early development, particularly in making the bones and the beaks of these organisms. Bioaccumulation and biomagnification also impacts humans Again, because humans are the ultimate apex predator. We are at the top of the food chain and everything we eat has those lower trophic levels beneath it and all of those toxins feed up to us. Now we talked about mercury earlier in this unit. Mercury is going to increase as it moves up the food chain. So it biomagnifies as it moves up the food chain and that can impact the nervous system of humans. Now children and infants and fetuses are much more likely to see severe impacts from biomagnification, particularly because you're going to see a higher concentration of these pollutants in their much smaller bodies. Now in summary, you should be able to explain how bioaccumulation and biomagnification applies to these concepts of persistence, fat solubility, food chains and apex predators, and how anthropogenic or human-caused pollution is leading to this bioaccumulation and biomagnification. Please leave me your questions here at the end, and I hope that as you watched this video, you were able to learn something.